Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to deploy Windows 11 across multiple computers using WDS step by step. WDS is basically Windows deployment service. It's a Microsoft tool which is used to deploy Windows operating system over a network without needing any physical installation media. So before we start this video, let me give you a visual representation to help you understand better. Here is my server machine named Technology as you can see. The IP address I will use for the server machine is 192.168.0.171 with a subnet mux of 255.255.255.0. A gateway of uh, uh, the server machine is 192.168.0.1 and DNS I will set which is my server machine 192.168.0.171 so I will use these three services on my server which is active directory domain service ADDS DNS server which is DHCP service and Windows deployment service which is WDS and after installing these three services I will connect the server's Ethernet port to my network switch. Then I will connect all my network devices to the switch. Through this setup, I will able to install a Windows 11 on all my machines simultaneously. If your server machine has a second Ethernet port, then you can use it to connect the Ethernet for external access. So here I will use Windows Server. 2025 you can use windows server any version like 2016 or 19 so at first i will configure the static ip address on my windows server for that i will uh, just go to my start or search window and type ncpa.cpl after type this command press enter now right click on your ethernet card and click on properties after that, I will double click on IPv4 address and here I will uh, use uh, 192.168 10 range of IP. So I will type 192.168 uh, 10 dot my IP address and default gateway. I will set here 1 and DNS I will use my same my machine IP address 171 now click on ok after that click on ok now disable and enable your uh, ethernet card okay after that simply you need to uh, go to your server manager and you need to install active directory uh, domain service first so simply open server manager After that click on add roles and features from here or else you can click on this manage button on your right side corner and click on add roles and features. After that here on this window click on next then hi I will select here role based features based installation and click on next. Now next here I will uh, check this option which is active directory domain service and click on add features. After that click on next then next. The next and install it will take some time so you have to wait for the installation so after installation done simply you need to close the window and you need to restart your PC So after restart your computer, you just need to go to your server manager and click on this flag button over here and click on promote this server to a domain controller. So click on this. Now click on add a new forest over here. And type your root domain. In my case, I will type over here technology.local. You can type anything. And after that, click on next. Now here you just need to put the password for your uh, directory service restore mode. So I'll type the password, confirm password 
and after that click on next now next now next after that you need to click on install after that you need to close this window and restart your pc So after restart your PC, you just need to add two more roles and features. For that you just need to click on add roles and features on your server manager and click on next. Now select here role based and feature based installation. Click on next. Now here you just need to uh, check this option which is DACP server which is dynamic host control protocol and click on add feature and another one is our WDS which is windows deployment service. Okay, make sure that both the services are enabled and after that click on next. Now next and then you need to install. After installation done, click on close button. Now if you'll click over here, it will showing like complete a DHCP configuration. So click on that. Now after that click on next, then next and then commit and close. Once it will done, close the server manager and go to your start window and type DACP now you need to right click on IPv4 address and click on new scope and click on next now here you can put any name over here and after that click on next now here you just need to put the range of the IP address uh, scope distribution. So in my case, if I'll open CMD, if I'll type IP config. As you can see, here is my range, which is 192.168.10. Uh, so basically, you need to enter the range of IP address that the scope distributes. So I'll uh, distribute under um, 10 to uh, 200 range of IP and after that click on next. So here is showing like if you want to exclude any IP address. So I will for now I'll click on next then next. So here is showing like uh, you want to configure DHCP option scope now. So I'll select yes over here and here is showing like uh, you need to put your router IP address. So in my case it is 192.168.0.0. Oh, sorry 10.1 okay which i have already using as a gateway on my server machine as you can see and click on next now next then next and then finish after done you can check the address full from here so you need to check uh, over here authorized or unauthorized showing over here if it is showing unauthorized then it's okay if it is showing like authorize, you have to click on authorize over here. And after that, you need to go to your start window and type uh, deployment and open Windows deployment service. Now double click on servers and right click over here and click on configure server. Now click on next. Now I'll integrate it with Active Directory. So next, then next, click on yes. Now here I will uncheck both the options which is don't listen DHCP and this port and configure DHCP proxy so I will uncheck both the option and click on next. Now here I have to check the option called respond to all client and computer known and unknown. So I will select next after check that option. Click on finish. Now here I have to add boot images and install images. So here as you can see I have two ISO image file which is Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you want to install Windows 11 on all the computers in your network using WDS, it will not work because Windows 11 is phasing out certain functionalities of WDS. To work around this, you need to use the Windows 10 boot.wim file for booting and the Windows 11 install.wim file for installation. So first I will right click on Windows uh, 10 and click on mount. After that I will go to my computer, this PC 
and as you can see my uh, mount is successfully done it is showing on my uh, my computer so now right click on boot image click on add boot image now click on browse and go to your my computer with this PC go under your mounted drive I'll click on open then go under sources folder then select here boot.wim file and click on open after that click on next now here you can put anything like I'll put over here Microsoft Windows 11 setup okay now click on next and then next after that click on finish now as you can see under boot image Microsoft Windows 11 setup is showing now what you have to do you just need to eject this uh, Windows 10 so file from your my computer and just mount Windows 11 file so as you can see mounted successfully now right click on win install images and click on uh, in add install image or in add install groups so I'll click on groups and I'll type anything over here like technology and right click once again and add install image now I have to click on browse and go to my this PC and go under my mounted drive go under sources folder here I just need to select window uh, install.wim file and click on open now click on next now from here you can select which operating system you need to install so I will select home and pro so I'll uncheck all this option only I'll select windows 11 pro and windows 11 home now click on next next after done you just need to click on finish here you need to change few settings just right click on your server and go to properties and go to PXC response and make sure that response to all the client computer is selected under boot you need to select known and an unknown client always continue to the PXC boot and on client you just need to select join a domain do not join a client a domain after that click on apply then ok now what you have to do you just need to right click over here and click on all task and click on start click on ok now I'll try to boot from my network so on my other network devices and now you need to open BIOS on your client device and after that set over there boot from network Here on username you need to put administrator at the date your domain name. If you don't know your domain name then simply you need to type on your server machine cmd domain and after that press enter and after that it will show your domain name. In my case it is technology local. So I will type administrator at the date my domain name which is technology.local and after that put my uh, password of my server machine so before ending this video I would like to share few quick things with you I create high quality tech related videos every day so if you enjoy my content and want to support my work please don't forget to subscribe my channel also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.